Okay, well, today we're going to talk about the new wind. What do they call this thing? Uh, boy, I think they got a name for it. Abre but it, Avent. The Abre Avent. And I think this is a French made uh, wind turbine. They call it a biometric wind turbine. And basically, they're all about making uh, a wind turbine out of small, small vertical axis turbines um, in a tree type design, hence the biometric name and aeroleaf. There you go. So, um, you know, we this thing again has been making the rounds on the internet and we're, uh, thought I'd give it a review. You know, I've, I've tried checking it out online, you know, definitely had some uh, apprehension um, about the design here and how much power it could really make. You know, we know that small wind turbines don't make much power and uh, vertical axis wind turbines don't make much power either. So, you know, here we have a whole bunch of small vertical axis wind turbines put together in a, you know, a pretty clever design. It's got a nice aesthetic to it. Um, but uh, we decided to dig in here and see how much power this thing actually made. So, um, so let's see, what do we got? Well, we did two things. We, we looked at their performance how much power they make, the wind speeds that they make it in, the, we, look, we looked at the size and the weight and the space that it takes. It's about an 8,000 pound tree that takes about five days to install. It costs about $67,000 plus tax, plus delivery, plus engineering, permitting, uh, installation. Uh, you could imagine that something like this would maybe approach $100,000 installed in a uh, river walk type of uh, environment. And it would have a, uh, a lot of interest and it would have a lot of aesthetic appeal. But uh, we're engineers and we're in the wind business and so we care about cost per kilowatt hour. And so using their performance, their individual leaf makes 100 watts of power in a 40 mile an hour wind and there's 63 of them so when you do the math you find out that uh, how much power it'll make in a hour in a day in a month in a year and over the 25 year life and then if if you <clears throat> don't have 40 mile an hour winds and if you had 20 mile an hour winds it would make one eighth of that that's that exponential power that uh, is well known in the wind industry. And if you don't have 20 mile an hour winds and you only have 10 mile an hour winds, you get, again, a further reduction in energy, uh, one eighth. So one sixty fourth of the power that you make at 40 miles an hour is available in 10 mile an hour winds. So when we use their power curve and our own to confirm it, and it, and it does, our, our math and our arithmetic all line up they're going to make in the neighborhood at 10 miles an hour about <sighs> 2,000 kilowatt hours a year times 25 years is 50,000 kilowatt hours over a 25 year life cycle for approximately $100,000. And so uh, it's gonna come out at about two dollars a kilowatt hour. Oh, what, what wind speed? That's uh, uh, ten, 10 miles an hour. 10, ten mile an hour. Yeah. yeah okay so that's averaging 10 miles an hour around the clock 24 7 365. You, you know what I'm sorry at 13 miles an hour which uh, is double the power of 10 mile an hour wind and yeah. that's the number for 13 and a 10 mile an hour wind would be uh, half of that or four dollars a kilowatt hour. So um, my conclusion would be that this is interesting, this is uh, 
you know, a nice thing to, uh, to look at. Uh, but if you don't have strong winds, it's a novelty and it'll cost a lot of money per kilowatt hour, especially when you compare it to the cost of utility power at something below 50 cents. Two dollars is four times that. So I wouldn't think this would be a serious power generator. Uh, and if you had 40 mile an hour wind, you wouldn't have anybody more or less out there on the river walk. So that's, uh, that's my thought. It's cute, it's aesthetic, it um, will make power, and it won't make much power, and it uh, costs too much money, so it'll never become commercially viable. Those are my thoughts. Yeah, uh, again, I think it's a, it's a nice design, um, you know, in some applications, some power is going to be better than none. And this is uh, going to be for the client that is more interested in the aesthetic of it than the actual power generation. Or if they're just looking to have some form of power generation that uh, fits in the landscape. So, but uh, the power is going to come at a premium. Um, there you go. There's the $67,500, excluding taxes, shipping, delivery, and installation. So with their uh, five-day installation time and all of the uh, all the expense that will go into installing it, you're probably looking at about hundred grand installed. So, um, yeah, I uh, love to see innovation. And, uh, you know, these guys have obviously put a lot of work into this, and I'm sure there is a market somewhere for it. But... Uh, it's not going to be if you're just competing on a cost per kilowatt hour basis. All right. Enjoy. Until next time. If you like these videos, you might want to subscribe. See ya.